Today we're going to explore an important concept in cardiology and critical care medicine known as the end diastolic pressure volume curve, or EDPVR. This curve helps us understand the relationship between the volume of blood in the left ventricle at the end of diastole, which is when the heart is fully relaxed, and the pressure inside the ventricle at that same point. Let's dive into what this curve represents and how we generate it. The EDPVR is a graphical tool that provides valuable insights into how the left ventricle of the heart handles different volumes of blood. On the x-axis of the graph, we have the volume of blood in the left ventricle at the end of diastole. On the y-axis, we have the pressure inside the ventricle at the same time. Each point on the curve represents a specific volume and the corresponding pressure. By examining the shape of this curve, we can assess the compliance, or elasticity, of the heart muscle. But how the curve was created in the first place? Let's imagine that we fill in the left ventricle with blood during diastole, and halt it at the end of diastole. That is before the heart starts to contract. And let's imagine that this is happening at this point where the volume is around 120 milliliter and the pressure is around 12 centimeter of water. We can do that by vacuuming up all the calcium and don't let that calcium enter the cardiac cells. That means the ventricle will not contract. Next, we let's see what happens if we remove volume from the left ventricle that is already filled and halted at end of diastole. Of course, the pressure will start going down, and as we remove more volume, the pressure continues to go down till we reach zero, even if the ventricle is not completely empty. Now, let's try to add volume to the ventricle that is already filled. You will see the pressure will go up very steeply, indicating that the compliance is very low at this part of the curve. Measure the pressure and the volume every time you remove or add volume, connect the dots, and you get what we call the left ventricle end diastolic pressure volume curve. A steeper portion of the curve indicates that even small increase in blood volume causes a large increase in pressure, which can signal a stiff or non-compliant ventricle. On the other hand, a flatter portion of the curve means the ventricle can accommodate larger volumes of blood with less increase in pressure, suggesting a more flexible or compliant ventricle. Understanding this curve is crucial for diagnosing and managing heart conditions. It allows us to evaluate how well the heart can handle different volumes of blood and to assess the stiffness or elastance of the heart muscle. When we say end diastolic dysfunction of the heart, it means that the heart is at the steeper part of the curve. Thank you for watching.